Hello everyone, I uh, wanted to talk to you a bit today about our exciting new functionality for integrating with GitHub Enterprise Server, otherwise known as GHES. So this is part of our ongoing CICD initiative um, where we're looking to uh, improve uh, how SnapLogic interacts with various uh, workflow tools, um, but also code repositories. Um, so now we have out-of-the-box uh, GHES integration. Um, that can help your organization get full control of SnapLogic assets by running your own GitHub instance. Um, so this is pretty exciting, and we've had a lot of customers asking about this, so we're very happy to offer it now. Just to give you a quick demo, here you can see I'm actually running GitHub Enterprise Server. Uh, this is not GitHub.com. This is my own private instance, uh, very similar to GitHub.com, but I control the entire server myself. Um, and here we are going to integrate by setting up what's called a GitHub application. So this is a common way of controlling um, access. Uh, so let's say we just want uh, SnapLogic users to access demo demo.repo underscore repo. Um, so we go into settings and then we're going to go down to um, developer settings and GitHub apps. Then I've already set up an app here called Demo App. Uh, and when you set that up, it's really easy. It only takes a few minutes. We have uh, documentation on our doc site. Uh, you're going to need to note a few things. Um, you're going to need to note the client ID, uh, which is shown here, uh, the app ID. You'll create a client secret. Uh, just need to have your GitHub administrator note that. Uh, you need to deactivate webhooks uh, because uh, this app does not use that and also export the private key. So once you've done all that, just note all that uh, and that will be sent to the org admin. There's a few permissions to set, but it's, it's really just a few. It's very fast. And then your GitHub admin just needs to install the app. The great thing here is you can also control, as I mentioned, the access to repositories. So uh, I can ensure that SnapLogic can only access the repos here and none other uh, independent of the, the user access rights. So if your users are checking in with different apps, uh, you know that SnapLogic will never have access to those other ones. So if we go into the org settings, so this would be done by your org admin. Um, once this feature is activated, you can see that there's a button called Configure Git. We're going to click on that. That's going to bring up a pop-up where you can then select GitHub Enterprise Server and enter the uh, client ID, secret URL, app ID, and private key that we saw earlier that was configured as part of the application. And once you do that, everything else is the same as the github.com integration. Um, you can uh, go through the OAuth flow with the user, which authenticates the user with the newly created SnapLogic application on your GitHub server. Um, here I've already done that, uh, but just to show the process uh, of checking out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a project. Then I'm going to link that up with the repository. So you select the repository, you see I only have access to demo underscore repo. Uh, except a branch uh, in future releases will allow you to create a branch. Then I click checkout. And now you can see it's pulled uh, from the GitHub Enterprise server, not github.com. Uh, here you can see the path and the commit that it pulled. So, hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot, and talk to you soon.